Joining us now in studio, a woman who can't even hear how revered she is in the control room. They gave you a phenomenal song. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. Oh, come on. No, no, another time. People listen and know. Uh, but she is, of course, a superstar reporter here on the Fox News channel. Uh, you see, I mean, you see her everywhere. She's a multimedia top tier. Uh, I wouldn't even know how to describe. I mean, people are weeping outside the studio. It's, it's like too a, much. It's this like it's like much. the funeral of a Korean dictator. There are paid oh, mourners outside the studio just crying on account of you being here. I can't hear them either. For, Should I put the headphones on? I, you'd like my nah, just keep, you having a strong hair day. I get how you roll. It's very, <laughs> she's very vain. She is a TV star. Don't forget. <laughs> Brooke Singman is here. Hey, girl. Hello, Jimmy. Thanks for having me. It's a big deal to have you back. It's a huge deal we, that you invited me back. We, well, I didn't. Mikey did. Oh, I, I guess was Mikey. against Thanks, it, but Mikey. he talked me into it. I kid. It's always <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, the American people don't know this, but we have become neighbors yes, uh, here at Fox. We have. We always crossed paths on television. You didn't. Bring me a housewarming gift yet? Not though. yet. I mean, you just when did you move in? Like yesterday? Like last week. It's okay. I'm, Thank I'm you. Just, I'm just watching the calendar. That's the an, days are ticking that's by. That's enough out of you, Brookie. <laughs> my goodness. Shut up. Will you shut up? But uh, Brooke is now, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five offices down. It's amazing. That's amazing. That it's is amazing. amazing. How are you as a neighbor? Are you going to call the cops on my loud music? You know what? No, I think it'll be nice to hear it. Uh-huh. It's nice. You, I'm sure you have nice music. I don't know because I didn't hear yeah, you the don't music the that you were playing. So you have I don't no have idea. Exactly. But you know what my view is? Uh-huh. Sixth Avenue, Magnolia Bakery, the cupcake shop. Good Isn't that you. sweet? That I think it's sexy. so sweet. I that's thought it was a, sweet. That's amazing. So my view is out of my office. We're talking about Fox, by the way, folks is the Hard Rock and all of the balconies. And now this is a really funny story. So when Victor, my executive producer on the TV side, came into my office first time a few years ago, he was like, wow, we have this incredible view of the Hard Rock, the balcony, summer, chicks, bikinis. (laughs) The only thing we've seen to this day, and it was the first day I was there, is like a fat Greek guy in a Speedo who was making a call on a cell phone. Wow. (laughs) That's been all the summer bathing suit season we've had in two years. I'm a little confused. There's a ba- you wear bathing suits on balconies in min- Midtown Manhattan. People do, they have do a it pool? at the Hard Rock. All right. It's the Hard Rock. It's true. You're We're right. lucky they're wearing anything. <laughs> come right. on. You can come out and look at my my view. It's cupcakes. I'll do it's it. cuter. But I'll just yeah, clearly because we were excited. Vic ran to the window and he's like, "Wow, wait till you see this!" And it was yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Not good. Uh, but we're talking about all kinds of salacious stuff because while the Trump trial, uh, today's the day off. Yes, today's the day. Wednesdays are nice because uh-huh. there's no court and yeah. Trump is either on the campaign trail or and, resting or golfing. And, the, and uh, I'm not not covering every minute of the trial. You're not so down at the courthouse, which is exactly. nice. And they have to give the court stenographer time because I believe they're writing romance novel based on Stormy's testimony yesterday. Truly. I don't know if it's a romance novel. Definitely like a, it was more of like a rated X 50 novel. 50 Shades of Pay. Yes. It was a hush That's money a good trial. One. That's a good 50 one. 50 Shades of Pay. Uh, but this is the point, and, I, and I'm sure this has come up during your TV appearances. It didn't strike me as related to the business records. Right. And actually, so... Trump's defense attorneys filed for a mistrial. They requested that that they just toss the out. case altogether, uh-huh. which, of course, we imagine they would do on a number of different grounds. But yesterday, Stormy Daniels, also known as Stephanie Clifford, but she did tell the prosecutor, I prefer to go by Stormy Daniels, oh. her her, her uh, yeah. adult film name. Thank you. Um, she testified a lot of salacious and as the judge even uh, described them, unnecessary, risque details about her alleged sexual encounter with the former president back in 2006. Uh And Trump's defense attorneys got up after a lunch break and and they said, you know, this is just distracting. This is completely prejudicial. It has nothing to do with the case. And how is the jury even supposed to focus on the charged conduct here when everything she's saying you know, is unrelated to a falsification of a business record. Now, of course, these hush money payments to Stormy Daniels are the crux of if Mm -hmm. there was a falsified business record, but, you know, her, the details of this alleged affair, which, by the way, she denied initially Uh in 2018. She said this never happened, and then, of course, her story changed, and we've been hearing a lot from her over the last uh, last six, five, six years. Have we ever? uh, We're talking to the great Brooke Singman. She's in studio, day off from the Trump trial. Uh, And it just read to me as if a lot of this is designed to get a conviction in the court of public opinion, not necessarily the court of law. Yeah, and you would think, though, that 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 conviction would have already come because yeah. all of these allegations have been out since I guess none of it's well, new. You know, if she was trying to sell her story in 2016, so mm-hmm. that was before the 2016 election, and then 
she came out, said there was no affair in 2018. But then when her name was in the headlines, she changed her story and said there was an uh-huh. alleged affair. And we've been hearing from her for years, as, mm-hmm. as I just said, as yeah. she wrote a book. It was called that? Full Disclosure. Is that true? Um, yes, it was. <laughs> what a um, title. And of course, she was a uh, she is a film, an adult film she, actress she does, and director. Yes. How about yes. that? Uh, director. So, so give me this, Brookie. I'm trying to keep it together here. It's a yeah. family program. Yes, it is. Manson family. Uh, the Manson <laughs> family. <laughs> as it goes forward, if you get on the stand as a witness and you say you hate the dude, doesn't that impugn your credibility? I mean, it should, yeah. right? I mean, how can the jury hear from somebody who's under oath saying, I hate this man, and yeah. then really just, I mean, trust that they are... are Bargaining re- in good faith, uh, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, come on. She did say she she sold her story to make some money. Yeah. She said it's cost her money, too, over the years, but she made $130,000 from this story that she was trying to, to sell. Wow. I didn't uh, know so it was one hundred and thirty. Yeah, hundred thirty thousand dollars hush money payment. That's it. So <laughs> just so everybody understands, because yeah. honestly, and no offense to the great jurors in, mm-hmm. in New York City that are on this jury... But it's really hard to follow what exactly they are trying to decide because yeah. Bragg charged Trump with 34 counts of falsification of business records in New York. Mm-hmm. Now, on that, on their face, that's just a misdemeanor. Yeah. But in order to make it a felony, you have to couple it with another misdemeanor. This is or a crime. the federal thing, right? Now, no, it's not okay, federal. Go ahead, go ahead. So they, it's a Bragg now has to convince the jury that Trump falsified business records with the intent of committing another crime, and that other alleged crime is preventing election. So he's trying to say that he falsified the records to prevent someone else from winning the election or promote his campaign in 2016. But these business records, like, so here's how it happened. Yeah, yeah, this is so wild. This is wild. Like, so I'm, I'm like, who's following it's, this? It's, it's so crazy. Like, and how can how can anybody keep track? Because you have you're listening to a porn star, yeah. um, testifying about an alleged sexual encounter, and you're yeah. like, wait, am I tr- as a juror? I would imagine I would sit there and go, wait, am I trying to prove that this alleged affair happened? Yeah. Am I trying to prove that she was paid? What are what am yeah, I trying to what answer are we going here? For here? So basically, the charge is this: Trump paid Michael Cohen a number of payments of $35,000. Bragg, on on the uh, ledger, on the memo, it says legal fees. Mm-hmm. Bragg is trying to claim that that was a falsified record, saying it wasn't a legal fee, it was actually a repayment for the hush money. Okay. But the total payment ends up being like $420,000, so Trump attorneys are like, why would he nearly triple overpay. the payment and yeah. overpay? That doesn't make sense. But um, Michael Cohen, his former lawyer who organized this yeah. payment, says, oh, no, yeah, he was repaying me for, for this. But then Trump, I did an exclusive interview with him a few weeks ago, and he's like, I was paying my lawyer, which means it was a legal bill, which yeah. means it was a legal fee. So what are they talking what about? So talking it's about? just it's and, really uh, it's it's but, hard to follow. But I know I'm, I'm with you. Like, we're all sitting here like, wow. But yeah. Michael Cohen, who is, of course, lost his law license for lying to the yeah. court. Is a star witness just the same as she is? Yeah, we'll see when wow. when he is his coming because, of course, wow. Bragg's office doesn't really say who's yeah. coming and when they're. But isn't that, that kind of unorthodox too? Yeah, they don't want anybody to really know who's coming and when and give the defense time to really get get yeah. ready to prepare. But Michael but, Cohen, mm-hmm. not only did he lie to the courts and and had served a jail sentence, but he also lied to Congress. He pled uh-huh. guilty to all of that. And actually today, Chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Jim Jordan, and Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer actually referred Michael Cohen to the DOJ for a criminal referral, saying he again lied because you know what Michael Cohen did? Uh-huh, give it a In the fall, during the New York Attorney General Letitia James's case, he was on the stand and some one of the Trump attorneys asked him if he lied uh, to Congress during a separate hearing in 2019, and he said yes. So he admitted to lying again, <laughs> wow. and now House Republicans are like, hello, are you yeah. going to convict him for lying again to Congress? And of course, DOJ is not commenting on on that. So It is. Wow. It's wild. Upside down, it's a mess. It's a bag of cats, but Brooke's here and we're happy about it. I'm that happy. matters. Uh, on a day off from court, I would imagine you get a little more free time in that crazy schedule of yours. Yeah. How uh, how much time have you committed to decorating this new office? Because my office is like, I tell people this, there's a fine line between an office and an Applebee's. 
Some hey. people decorate too much. Like Emily Campagno should have to give out two for one appetizers <laughs> when you go to her office. I haven't seen so it. So we have to help. We're going to HGTV this place as you get a, 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 you know acclimated. Okay. Because I you, you need to make the 20th floor look good. I got to tell you. So, I don't want you to bring down my property value. Right. That's I don't want to do that. I okay. want to help you. I want to have good curb appeal and yeah, everything as this well. Matters. Now, I can't take any credit. My right. mom is an interior designer. Stop By it. the way. And so what did she say? Let's get an orchid and a fun pillow. Yeah, so, so go. far, we have a fun Couple pillow. nice accents. Fun pillow, orchid, not Works. a real orchid. Yeah, White yeah. faux orchid, because, of course, yeah, I can't yeah. take care of a plant. No, I'm in court covering no. the trial. And Come even on. if you weren't, look at exactly. you. Exactly. Look You're at me. Mess. Do you think I can handle that? No, no. I can't. Stop um, it. But yeah, so we have a, a flower and we mm. have a pillow and we're we're gonna go from there. I, wow. It's a little bare. Yeah, yeah. But you but get there. You, you know what was out. in there? Uh-huh. A velvet couch was waiting for me. A Whoa. light gray velvet couch. I thought, oh my god, was this designed for me? Yeah, they knew that. That's great. I was they thrilled. probably flew that in and had it custom. They made, must have, right? You, matter. you have to come see it. Yeah, yeah. You're. Is, I'll stop this by. This is leather. This we, is we have, cool. Yeah, we have a neighborhood watch meeting every Wednesday, <laughs> so we'll come by after we're done <laughs> shooting and stuff like Amazing. that, Brookie. It'll be great. It'll be great. Uh, give me one other thing. Yeah. It's not the case I believe you're assigned to, but it sounds like the other stuff is getting delayed till after the election. Yeah. Whether it's Jack Smith stuff or Georgia stuff or DC stuff. It kind of feels like everything is just being kicked down the line. So yeah. yesterday, um, the federal judge that's presiding over that classified records case of Trump, you know, special yep. counsel Jack Smith charged Trump with, you know, improperly retaining classified records. He pleaded not guilty. That trial was supposed to begin on May 20th. She postponed that indefinitely. She has hearings scheduled into late July but not a trial date. So we don't know what's going to happen with that, what uh-huh. they'll discover throughout these uh, next hearings. And Isn't it weird, if you think about this on an optics level, they raided Mar-a-Lago with the FBI and guns drawn. Yeah. Which would create the appearance that they have the goods. Right. And some type of heavy-handed prosecution is imminent. One of the goods, by the way, which is my favorite good yeah. of the Mar-a-Lago yeah. raid is a napkin. Yeah. Um, I think it had something to do with Kim Jong-un. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and you know, another a, a menu or yeah. something. Of course, yes, they... They got classified records, yes, uh-huh. or there would be no charges. But when you look at like the funny kind of things mm-hmm. that were taken yeah, yeah. as well, it's like, wow, those are the Yeah, they also went through Melania stuff, I noticed. Yes, yes I mean, they I'm not, did. I don't fault them for that. I mean, it's not good etiquette as investigations go. Right. But she is a very underrated first lady. She, she's not emphasized enough. We had a supermodel right. first lady that speaks five languages. Yes, Do you realize did. like if she was married to a liberal? We'd have like seven federal buildings named after her by now. I think that you might be right about that. And she's not she's not not involved in, I know. in this cycle right now. I mean, she just um, she has her own charity yep. and she helps to, um, you know, raise funds for foster children to go and get college educations. And she does all of this. It's she's she's very graceful. She's yeah. very elegant and she's very quiet yeah. with how she does things. So when we hear little things of, of no. um, you know, little Melania action, I try to, yeah, yeah. no salacious stuff yeah. from her. But no. I mean, like she does good work. So yeah. it's like she deserves some coverage. too. She's underrated. Exactly. When the hell do we get a supermodel first lady? Exactly. I got a lot of perverted truckers listening <laughs> oh, right now. God. Are you? I mean, think about that. She's, she's beautiful. Oh, she's yeah, she's a she winner. just created a uh, jewelry line in honor of her her late mother. So that oh, was for Mother's sweet. Day. She just did that. I did an interview with her about See? about that. She also headlined a um, LGBT event at Mar-a-Lago for the Republican group uh, Log Cabin yep. Republicans, which is for gay uh, Republicans. Yeah, yeah. She headlined that. She was really pushing the message of unity. And while she hasn't like really been on Trump's campaign trail, um, she's involved and she's around and she hopes to be first lady again. So we'll see what happens. Hot damn, Brookie. Let's go. I was in the White House last Friday. It needs needs your mom to make it over. It needs help. It has like a little bit of a museum vibe in there right now. Maybe just a little flair. That's what I'm saying. What would you say? A couple of velvet couches and a throw. I think that's what got Clinton in trouble, though. I think you you can't make the couches too comfy. No. Oh, they maybe. run out of things to do on them after a oh, while. Oh my goodness! So Behave, gross. Brookie. So gross. My neighbor, you know, you love her, Brooke Singer. <laughs>